Are you feeling a bit sad because in most handstand tutorials, step one is to just kick up to the wall as if anyone could just intuitively do it? If so, then this video is for you because I'm gonna go over the three most important tips that I've used with some clients who've been stuck on this step for months to overcome it and successfully be able to kick up to the wall. Before we get into the first tip, I highly recommend that you're able to climb up to the wall like this and hold your body weight on your hands for at least about 20 seconds. If this is too challenging, please let me know in the comments and I'll cover that in another video. The first tip is to use a counterweight to help yourself get up more easily. What do I mean? We're not gonna do a handstand press, but check this out. If I was trying to do a handstand press, I could use all the strength in the world and I wouldn't float up. Instead, what I have to do is lean some weight forward, have some weight forward to counterweight the weight of my legs, and then I'm able to float. Now, just because we're kicking up and not pressing up, doesn't mean we can't take advantage of the counterweight. So a lot of people try to kick up to the wall with their shoulders behind, and they have to push a lot of force because there's no counterweight to help. But if instead you lean your shoulders forward first, now you have some counterweight to help you get up, and then you kick up from there, it's much easier to get up. Now for a lot of you that's not enough, but we're gonna combine this with tip three at the end to make it work way easier. But before that, let's talk about tip number two, and for this one you might need a set of blocks or even a pillow, check this out. If you are struggling to get your hips on top of your shoulders, you might make it easier by getting your shoulders a little bit below your hips. So here the shoulders are quite high, so it's a bit hard to get the hips above them. But if we lower down the shoulders by putting our head down on a set of blocks, putting our back against the wall and our arms a bit behind, so we have that counterweight, pushing strong with the arms and jumping from there, you might get a sense of the mechanics of the wall kickups in a much easier situation. The lower the block, the easier it is, but then the more weight you have on your neck, so make sure to do some stretches before and assume a strong position in the neck rather than being all loose there and relaxed. The third tip and perhaps the most important is about how to use acceleration. If you remember in the first tip, we showed how in a handstand press, you had to lean so far forward to balance the weight of your feet so that they float up, kind of like having sum of forces equal zero on both sides. But if you remember your old physics class, it's not always sum of forces equals zero, it's sometimes sum of forces equals mass times acceleration. Meaning that when you have acceleration, you have to lean way less forward to balance the weight of your legs because the acceleration makes up for it. So applying this to the kick up, when you lean forward like in step one, don't just go up there statically. Instead, memorize this position. Rock back, rock forward, and then hop. So now you're leaving at the same exact place, but with some initial acceleration that gives you even more power to go up. And that doesn't just apply to the position of the shoulders, it applies to the position of the leg. So instead of being here and trying to hop up, or doing this, start from all the way down here so you have so much more swing to get yourself up. So, to recap in tip number three, accelerate forward and use the swing of the back leg to help you leave the ground in the same position as tip number one, but with some initial acceleration. One bonus tip is to give this step some time. I really wanna be able to tell you that now that you know these tips, you can unlock the kick up instantly. And sometimes that works, but most times it might still take you one to three weeks of practicing four times a week just to integrate the movement and the timing and the strength aspect into your body. Either way, this is gonna be very exciting to unlock and very fulfilling, and your handstand journey is gonna change afterwards, so do not give up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and like my coaching style and would like to support me, I offer pretty affordable one-on-one -on -one coaching and a zero to handstand online course. The links are in my description.